Alright, we're going to talk about scale drawings now. And a scale drawing is just a drawing of something in the real world. So it can be a blueprint for a house, it can be a map, um, it can be a drawing of your room. And so, this scenario given, 6 inches on a drawing is 18 feet in real life. What is the scale? So our scale is just going to be a ratio of the drawing to real life. So we have 6 inches to 18 feet. And with any ratio, if you can reduce it, you need to reduce it. So 6 and 18 can both be divided by 6. So 6 goes into 6 once. 6 goes into 18 three times. So 1 inch equals 3 feet. Alright, so a model train is 12 feet, 12 inches. The actual train is 8 feet. What is the scale? So again, we're going to do a ratio of the model, which is 12 inches, to the actual train, which is 8 feet. Again, if you can reduce this, you need to. Um, so we can divide both of those by 4 to get 12 divided by 4 is 3 inches equals 8 divided by 4 is 2 feet. You can actually reduce that even further if I wanted to know what 1 foot was. I could divide this again by 2 to get um, half of 2 would be 1, so that would be 1 foot on bottom. And then half of three would be one and a half. So you'd have one and a half inches equals one foot. Because it's a ratio, it's okay to have a decimal in your ratio as your final answer. All right, so here you're given the, given the scale this time. One inch equals 170 feet. The building is 391 feet tall. How tall is the model? So here you have to think of your scale. And I have a lot more feet than I have inches. So in order to solve this, I'm going to have to divide because I'm given 391 feet. So to make it smaller, I need to divide. So I need to take 391 and divide it by 170. 170 will go in there twice which is 0, 14, and then 2 plus 1 is 3. So that would be 340 minus, so 91 minus, 391 minus 40 would give me 51. Add a decimal and a 0, bring the 0 down. So 170 into 510 will be 3 times. So 3 times 0 is 0, 3 times 7 is 21, 3 times 1 is 3, plus 2 is 5, so I get nothing left over so it'd be two and one two and three tenths inches all right so now I'm giving the skull factor again one centimeter equals 50 miles on a map two cities are eight centimeters apart how far apart are the actual cities so again you have to think I'm given eight centimeters 8 is the smaller number. I have to make it into a bigger number. So in order to do that, I need to multiply. So I'm going to do 50 times 8 to see how far apart those cities actually are. So 8 times 0 is 0. 8 times 5 is 40. So I'd get 400. The two cities are 400 miles apart.